Can a Jeep JK safely pull an overland camper off-road? We had to know. So we met up with our friends at x Grid Campers here in Las Vegas, and after going through their vast in-stock inventory, we found what we thought was the coolest one there, and they let us borrow it. So we took it on a three-day adventure into the Mojave Desert, on a trail we had never done before, just to see if we could and if we liked it. Welcome to our first 2024 epic solo adventure. It's just me, my buddy Chris, and my son Devin. And we're out here in the beautiful Mojave Preserve in California, enjoying excellent weather, and we're doing it in style. We're gonna get more into that as we go, but so glad you're along for the ride. We've got three days ahead of us to get all the way across this desert and in to Los Angeles County. So. If you're ready for an adventure, let's get things ready and let's get moving. Finally, there's an actual sign forbidding side-by-sides, which means we can take our time through this trail and not have to worry about being run over. California street legal vehicles only. All UTVs, side-by-sides, and other ATVs are prohibited in the Mojave National Preserve. of room to work we can prep the food we can serve the food cook the food and everything tucks away in drawers i totally judge us for not like doing something like this far sooner than now so if anybody asks what's a better way to go camping with a tag along trailer like we're doing or on the ground out of the back of the jeep like we normally do definitely this it's much more cozy in there i know right it's warm it's incredible. It's really warm. <sighs> it really stinks to wake up places like this, tell you what. What? I said it really stinks to wake up in places like this. 
places like what? Like this. I think this was pretty freaking comfortable. Good morning. And it is day two of our epic solo adventure of the Mojave Preserve. A little windy this morning and definitely a little chilly. Uh, forecast is actually calling 91% chance of rain. So today might just be the most exciting day of our journey. But we're getting camp packed up and we're going to hit the trail to see how far we can make it with a 3,000 pound trailer behind the Jeep. So come on, let's continue on. Joshua, how do you feel about all these trees being named after you? Oh, it's uh, you, you, you got it the other way around. Let me see. I am the original tree, so I chose to call them Joshua trees. You know that would make you old as uh, um, the forest, right? You, you don't need to broadcast how old I am. I'm just simply saying that I chose that name for these bushes and these trees that were out here. Well, so now they're bushes now. Adopted it. How do you? Yeah, I don't think you have a very high esteem of yourself. I do. Yes, <laughs> yeah, very much. <laughs> guys um, running just looks like two brand new Wranglers a four four by E and a regular two-door got scared off on the section of trail it's called Watson's wash they looked at us said we're crazy for trying to do it with a trailer but you know what we're out here trying to see how far we can push it with a trailer so you know what we're gonna give it a shot so wish us luck I think it's not even close to touching anywhere. Dude, I think it's just a break for the gas. The Jeep just crawled itself right down over it like nothing. What you doing, Devin? I'm gonna put a penny in a twee. Just like that. Look, see? You got a penny right there. The penny tree. The there, tree is there's a penny there. The tree's kind of grown around it. That's the kinda tree deep. of pennies. Do you want to get a penny for your thoughts? There's a penny. There you go. That's a good one. 
too. I do like this one because the trees grow around it. Dollar, uh, freaking! I forgot what Mexican coins are called. Pesos. It's a peso. There's a peso in there. Oh no, that's pretty cool. There's a peso. It's been an extremely wet, snowy, rainy, windy, muddy day. Um, but the reward was totally worth it. I mean, just check out this view and this sunset. It's incredible. So first impressions, I cannot believe how easy it is to pull this trailer over rugged terrain. It is extremely well balanced. It's like it's not even behind the Jeep. In fact, if it wasn't for looking at it in my mirrors, I don't think I'd actually know that it was there, which I gotta say is actually pretty impressive for something so heavy. Um, and on top of that, the sleeping arrangements, oh, absolutely amazing so much better than sleeping on the ground Devin so first impressions first night sleeping in the t-van what'd you think I think it was great Chris first impression what do you think about the t-van behind the Jeep I think it hauled pretty well considering what it is and how much weight it is and it was much cozier to sleep in than the tent on top of the Jeep yeah. Mm -hmm. So you like it? Yep. Man, it was really cozy to just sleep in last night. Oh, hey, Uncle Chris. Morning. What are you doing? Uh, just cleaning up, doing dishes and stuff from last night. Cleaning it up so we can make some breakfast. So, uh, beautiful thing is we have this really cool sink, hot water, so it's gonna make uh, this job really easy. Tune in later, we're gonna be making some good breakfast. So, Mr. Joshua Ramsey, what do we got going on over here? Well, after hearing some strange noises yesterday, um, we decided to check out the condition of the Jeep this morning 
and I noticed that even though this thing pulls this trailer beautifully, the trailer being about 3,000 pounds might have been a little bit too much weight for this old Smitty Belt bumper. <laughs> it's actually pulling my bumper off the Jeep. I, so, I see that it's uh, angled a little funky over here. So we're going to try to disconnect the trailer so that I can pull the Jeep forward. We can try to reattach the bumper. But because of the angle that it's sitting, it's actually a little too low. So I get to use my high lift jack pretty much for like the first time in four years. So I can lift it up high enough to get the trailer foot itself to actually lift the trailer the rest of the way. Nice. Good thing we got all the tools we need. Hopefully. And justify that uh, that budget to the wife, right? Exactly. <laughs> all right. So in our continuing quest to determine whether or not a JK can actually safely pull an off-road trailer, it seems you got to make sure that your bumper is 100% loctited in and attached the way that it's supposed to be. Um, this is probably the heaviest weight I've towed with this, especially off-road since I bought it. And I never thought to check the torque on the bumper, so that's definitely my bad. But it looks like we got it reattached and back realigned the way that it's supposed to. So we're going to put the weight of the trailer back on it and hope that everything is A-OK. -okay. Right? 